throughout history, fantastic treasures from various cultures have been stolen or otherwise gone missing. Often their theft or disappearance happens during times of war or disaster, when they cannot be protected, or when a military force decides to take treasures back home as a trophy. Sometimes these treasures are recovered, but many times are still missing. Sarcophagus of Menkar The legend of the sarcophagus of the 4th dynasty pharaoh Menkar, the builder of the 3rd Pyramid of Giza, has largely been fueled by the mysterious disappearance of the ship Beatrice. Its fate is an unsolved mystery that fascinates and leaves the door open to imagination. In October 1838, the English schooner Beatrice was heading towards the United Kingdom with the sarcophagus found in the grave of the Egyptian pharaoh Menkor on board. It is unknown how the ship wrecked during a storm, disappearing with the invaluable and unique testimony of the famous pharaoh of the 4th dynasty. But a fact is that it sank. Today the history of the Beatrice and the lost sarcophagus is rarely mentioned, but the wreck lies underwater, resting somewhere on the seabed. Its disappearance has led to multiple interpretations and assumptions of its location. Some have identified it somewhere off Gibraltar. Others thought it lies between Malta and Spain, off Cartagena's Spanish port. Others predict it lay on the Tuscan coast of Italy near the Gulf of Gascony. There have been claims worldwide of the discovery of the Egyptian sarcophagus. Spanish and Egyptian archaeologists collaborated in its search in 2008. The aim of the underwater exploration mission was to search for the precise location of the shipwreck and find the sarcophagus of the pharaoh. The Oak Island Money Pit Anyone familiar with the History Channel series The Curse of Oak Island knows the mystery well. But for those who haven't heard the tale, buckle your seatbelts. Oak Island is in Nova Scotia, and the mystery in question is a legend that there's a big treasure buried there. Since the 19th century, explorers have tried to locate the loot, and some exciting artifacts have been unearthed. But the main treasure has never been found, and remains a mystery even to these explorers. Theories say that the island could be home to a massive pirate treasure, the Holy Grail, Shakespearean manuscripts, or the Ark of the Covenant. Not only is there a mystery, but there's also a curse, hence the name of the History Channel series. Legend says that seven men will die searching for the treasure before it is found. To date, six men have died. Various treasure hunting companies have tried their luck, sinking millions of dollars. Unfortunately, as the deeper holes were dug, the pit continued to fill up with water, requiring more and more powerful machines to drain it. And as company after company dug different holes to avoid the water, only to encounter financial troubles, the supposed original money pit spot has become lost. These people aren't entirely crazy. Traces of gold have been found, and other treasures have allegedly been discovered as well, though the finders have supposedly kept them hidden. The Treasure of Lima The Spanish accumulated a great deal of wealth after defeating the Incan Empire in the 16th century, and much of that wealth was stored in Lima up until 1820, when a revolt forced the Spanish to try and save their treasure by moving it out of the city. British Captain William Thompson and his ship, the Mary Deer, were put in charge of taking the treasure out of the city and sailing around the area until the revolt died down. Stricken with temptation, however, Thompson and his crew killed the Spanish guards and allegedly buried the entire hull. The Mary Deer was later captured and the whole crew was executed, except for Thompson and his first mate, who agreed to show the Spanish where they'd buried the loot. They directed the Spanish to Cocos Island, near present-day Costa Rica. But when they reached the shore, the two spared pirates ran into the jungle, never to be seen again. So many questions remain. Did Thompson and his first mate end up digging up the treasure and carrying on with their lives once the Spanish gave up looking for them? Is Cocos Island even where they buried the treasure, or just a place they knew they could hide? What was the makeup of this treasure hall? The last question can be at least partially answered. Spanish officials at the time estimated the treasure was worth somewhere between 12 and 60 million, and an original inventory included a solid gold, gem-encrusted, life-size image of the Virgin Mary, along with 113 gold religious statues, 273 swords with jeweled hilts, 1,000 diamonds, solid gold crowns, 150 chalices, and hundreds of gold and silver bars. Today, the treasure is estimated to be valued at somewhere around 200 million, and its current whereabouts continue to remain hidden. The Nazi Gold in Lake Toplitz, Austria In the last few months of World War II, 
Nazi sunk containers, and various other objects into Lake Toplitz for still not entirely known reasons. A few of these containers have been recovered, worth millions of dollars worth of fake currency of allied nations inside. Apparently, the Nazis wanted to destroy allied economies with inflation in a plan called Operation Bernhardt. Along with the containers, missiles, a printing press, and even a box full of beer bottles have been found in the various expeditions over the last century, which have claimed multiple divers' lives. Unfortunately, Lake Toplitz has dangerous sunken logs that lie near the treasure's supposed location, making visibility scarce and increasing the threat of drowning while trapped under one of these logs. Divers who have made it down claim to have seen a sunken plane, but what keeps interest so high in the lake is that many believe the Nazis sunk millions worth of gold, diamonds, and other treasures, possibly even including art wonders such as the now legendary amber rim panels from the 18th century. Perhaps this wouldn't exactly be the best treasure to hunt for. As already mentioned, the search could get very dangerous, but there are also environmental concerns. In 2009, Austrian nature experts sought an almost century-long ban on diving for the buried treasures, though it's unclear if people are still searching today. Lake Guadavita and the original legend of El Dorado Thousands of years ago, long before Spanish conquistadors arrived in modern-day Colombia to discover this legend for themselves, the leader of the Muisca tribe was said to cover himself in gold dust, float into Lake Guadavita, and toss gold and other treasures into the waters to honor the gods. While this legend may be ancient, it appears to be the real deal. Located just a couple of hours north of Colombia's capital city of Bogota, Lake Guadavita is believed to be the site of the El Dorado legend, with actual gold being recovered from the lake since the Spanish arrival in 1536. El Dorado means golden one in Spanish, but originally the legend may have gone by other names such as El Hombre Dorado, the golden man, El Indio Dorado, the golden native, and El Rey Dorado, the golden king. Multiple treasure hunts have taken place at the lake since the Spaniards first attempted to drain the water using gourds in 1545, which only lowered the water level